Today, I'm going to be felting what I draw. Some assembly required? <laughs> or a lot of assembly required. Oh no! <laughs> I'm already worried. So, today we'll be doing another episode of Drawn to Felt, and I will be the felting, and she has drawn a picture. Judging from the amount of evil laughter coming from her, I feel like this might be a bit of a challenge. So, okay. Ready? Yes. All right, show me what you got. I have drawn a castle. Whoa! That is super extremely cool. How the heck am I gonna felt that? All right, tell me what we have going on there. So I was thinking that you could film me a castle, and then on other drawn to felt that we do, you could felt me like furniture to film so. <laughs> Awesome. So. So this is like a play size castle. Yeah. Ah! It doesn't have to be like huge. Oh, it's good. Like, just like. You know, like a. Like. <laughs> so this is open in here. Yeah, the top is open and the back is open, but the bottom is a bottom. Gotcha. Okay, let me uh, go ahead and stare at this for a while in despair. <laughs> <laughs> it's really cool though. Yeah. I have no idea how I'm going to make it's that. It's like one of my favorite drawings that I've ever drawn. I quite like it. I think you did a nice job. Now what am I going to do? <laughs> I've created a monster! No! Well, see you later. Hmm. Alright you, well go study your multiplication tables or something. Hmm. So I'm thinking I will make four rectangly square shapes for the walls and the floor, then cover them with appropriate colors, then put them together? We'll see how that goes. I will also make the turrets separately and then put it all together at some point. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Here we go! Mmm, multiplication. I'm starting by making a nice flat rectangle out of the core wool. And I'm adding layers going in different directions to make it extra strong. And I am poking it a lot to smooth it out. And now I'll just go ahead and do that three more times, shall I? Yay, they fit together! Now it's time for the towers. I am making two cylinders, flattening the bottoms and letting the tops taper off. The next step is adding some gray to make a nice stony color. It's the next day. I spent hours yesterday poking and poking and poking. Um, flat things take forever for me. Probably should have wet felted them, but I didn't. So I have a vaguely stony sort of texture. Today should be more fun because I get to add some exciting stonework and windows and doors and put it all together. Hopefully it will be done today. <laughs> Hopefully I will finish it sometime soon so that I can get this video out and I can present my work to my tiny critic. So details today and hopefully putting it together. I am thinking that I might like to put some of that fabric stiffener liquid stuff uh, just to make it a little bit more durable for playing. It'll strengthen it up a little bit, I think. So let's see how far we can get today. <laughs> I'm mixing some browns together to make the accent stones. Hopefully this makes them look a little bit more real. I put on the rough shape for the windows and the door too, so I don't accidentally put stones there. Masonry is tough, but so far so good. I'm gonna use this darker gray to highlight the battlements. Uh, did I have to look up what those were called? Yes, I did. I'm using thin pencil roving to outline the door and windows. I also thought the castle needed a little lawn. I don't have any thin green roving, so I'm just using skinny strips of this green to make the vines. And then little green ovals for the leaves. Now I can start to put it together. 
I'm connecting the vines across the wall sections for a little more cohesion and poking as much as I can to make the joints as strong as possible. So there's definitely a reason that you don't see a lot of needle felted dollhouses around. It's because it's impossible. For It's not for the faint of heart. But a challenge is a challenge. The only thing that I'm missing is the flag on top. Not 100% sure what I'm going to do. Maybe a toothpick. The only problem with needle felting this is that, well, one of the problems, is that all of the details kind of shadow a little bit onto the inside because when you poke it through, it kind of goes all the way through. So I don't know exactly what we're going to do on the inside. Maybe we'll hang some lovely medieval tapestries. I will leave that up to Lily. Maybe we'll do that in a whole nother video. Ooh, that would be fun. Ooh, that would be fun. Hmm, maybe we'll do that. I still think that we should put the fabric stiffener on it, but maybe I won't do it yet. Maybe after we do the tapestries. So the only thing we have left to do is the flag and then the big reveal. I decided to use wire for the flagpole because it is longer than a toothpick and it gives me more to work with. So I'll just make a little rectangle and add some bends like it's flapping. I'm making a hole in the felt with a needle to help the gluey wire fit in better. I'm going to do the same thing where the wire will go into the castle, but the wire is catching on the fibers. No problem. I will just file it. In it goes. Ta-da! We're ready. Lily! Did you finish? I did finish. Yay! Are you ready? Yes. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. Are you sure you're ready? Yeah. Are you positive? Yeah. Are you totally sure? Yeah. <laughs> Super sure? Mm -hmm. Okay. Ready? Yes. Yeah. <gasps> Ta da! Wow! <laughs> it looks so cool. Check it out! Ooh, I like it. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm thinking that I would like to put some sort of a coating on it, like the fabric stiffener, but I didn't want to do it yet in case you wanted to add anything to it. And then I was telling the nice people, maybe we can make some awesome tapestries to hang on the walls. Ooh, like paintings or something? Yeah, like, yeah, some kind of an interesting Ooh. decoration. So oh, I also cool. did, because they're ugly on the inside. Yeah. But that's just what the back of needle felting flat stuff looks like. So what do you think? Similar? Hmm. It's very similar. Yep, it's similar. Nailed it. Exactly the same. Awesome. Yeah, it's I think that when we, well, it's not great for defense. The fabric stiffener, I think, will stiffen it. So it's gonna make it look less hairy and like stiffer and yeah. more castle looking? More castle looking. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. I really like it. Oh, Aww. I noticed that there's, there's, Bricks on here. Yeah, I put some. There. I put some bricks on yeah, there because they're so so much thicker than yours. Because for structure, I thought it would be great to make them a little bit thick. I think they look good with. Oh, bricks. good. I'm so glad. So I hope that you guys liked it as much as Lily did. And if you do enjoy this kind of video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And hey, while you're here, why not subscribe? We love that, and it makes us happy, and it makes YouTube happy. Win, win, win. And it makes you happy, because you get to know as soon as the next videos come out. They come out every week on Tuesday. And Saturday. Mm-hmm. So, until the next one, we will be here crafting and coming up with awesome stuff, and, um, playing, probably. <laughs> so, until next time, we will see you later! Bye! Bye!